Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Pumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with Total War Warhammer, the Greenskin Campaign, episode 21. I Alright. So there we go. That's the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream. We are uh, maneuvering our way through the lands to get back to our place, which is about to rebel. It's about to rebel against us. Looks like we're going to have to break the uh, Crooked Moon's uh, nose and make them uh, see the error of their ways. That is... Uh, Force them to either join us or perish. I'm gonna end up having to declare war against them, but not yet. Not yet. We're gonna wait until we're actually in the province next, and then that's gonna be how we roll, I suppose. And you are trying to traverse, and we're gonna end up having to shut down this moron up here too at some point. This guy's being a super annoying turd monkey, so we'll deal with him eventually. Anyway, let's end the turn. I need to get those idiots out of my squadron of folk. That is my biggest issue right now. Alright, we got guys moving around over there. Alright, what are the bloody spears going to do this time? They're going to be annoying again, probably continually raiding us. Yeah, it's a thing. We know. Mm-hmm. Yep, they're just not going to stop. This is going to be constant annoyance and just, ugh. Yeah, I know. All right, mission issued. A green skin barrage is about throwing lots of big rocks at the same time. Crude but effective. Let's organize it. Recruit the following type of unit. Siege unit, or siege engine. Uh, Doom Diver Catapult and a Goblin Rock Lava. Well, I'd love to, but... Oh, my God. Oh, good. Where's this at? Oh, good. Because now we have... <sighs> did it say there were... Oh, it actually... Did it, t it took it. Oh, that was... No, no, it didn't. Never mind. Uh, I don't know if we're ever even going to make it up there. This is the most ridiculous thing ever, and I'm so sorry. It's taking me so long to get there. But that's, that's the way of uh, the world, I suppose. They look for an opportunity to where we're not in position, and then they go and strike. Again, super annoying, very frustrating, and just dumb how the whole situation has transpired, but... Yeah, it's a thing that has happened, and I am not a fan. I am not a fan. Can we wad down one of you guys? No, but we're going to tell you right now, if you don't get the heck out of my lands, I'm going to declare war against you. Welcome, stranger. Start talking. Join me. Okay, fine. Declare war. Yep. War declared. It's done. You want to sit in here and raid my lands? You're going to pay for it, buddy. You are going to pay for it. I'm setting the wall target right now. You want to be a nuisance, an annoyance, a, a problem for me? I will be one right back at you. Oh, how am I going to stop this from just going off the rails super hard? I don't know right now. Speaking of not knowing right now, where is my... Uh, you're still supposed to be moving, though, and you're not. Like, wh why did you move two inches? Or maybe you did move before. I don't know. It's fine. All right. You're fighting this back up. We gotta get you over here as well. Uh, we're gonna have rebels. It's just gonna. How do we have rebels though? Like that's our land. I. Uh, is that just gonna give us another army for ourselves or something? I have no idea. I'm not even sure what to think anymore. But it's fine. All right. Um. I guess everyone's moved. We're kind of stockpiling a little bit of cash. Uh, we're no longer on the losing side of obedience over here, which is good. Alright, let's see. What, let's think about this real quick. We already have the obedience tower. I'd rather not have to do another obedience tower. We have literally no troop gaining uh, things on the side, though. Which isn't good. We were going to build some of the savage orcs. That that was the play. So I guess what I can do over here is build a musta field. And see if we can't get that to work out to our advantage. 
We're extorting income from most of the places. Oh, this is so bad. This is such a bad scenario. Alright, we're ending the turn. Draggle Wolf Herda is doing uh, Wolf Herda things, I guess. Alright, well, we're going to continue with our raiding scheme. And you are on the move, right? Yeah, you've already made your move. Alright. Not a chance. Alright, what are we going to do here? What's going to happen? We're at war. We kick the people out of our place, I think. I hope. I'm worried about the chaos people coming from over there. Oh my gosh, stop it. Right, we, they lost two. And they're just, this is never going to stop, is it? Constant raid, constant attacking. It's just going to be annoying. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know. I bloody well know. Alright, well. Oh, good, because I can't reach there. That's awesome. Why is my WA so slow? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Is there anything else we can do to make you less, like, terrible right now? Not really. Uh, I guess we have to repair it. Um. And how far, how many miles away are you? Really far away. This is going to be ridiculous, guys and gals. Uh, it's going to take me forever just to recover from what is going on. And I should have probably swooped over here to deal with this. Of course they had a split, right? The walk could take care of that one. I could have come over here and taken that out of the field of battle. Ah, eh, probably still okay, but uh, it's just super annoying. Don't they have one more that's like right up in my area? Yeah, there it is. Eight peaks. And that's the capital, right? Yeah, provin provincial capital. Alright, well, whatever. We end the turn again. Let's see what horrible things transpire next. Oh, our, oh, our wall's going after that one. Okay, that's cool. I can dig that. Oh, is this going to stop my my dude? Eh. And then uh, there's going to be an army that, of course, spawns, and then we're going to have to deal with it. Oh, this is so frustrating. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. How could you conceivably move that far? How is that a thing? Like, how could you possibly move there? So much quicker than I did. Like, the underway is supposed to let you traverse, like, bad terrain, but it's not supposed to let you outrun me. Like, how? How are you able to outmaneuver me? You were just here! Oh my god. I hate it so much right now. Whatever. You gonna be you gonna be like that? Go ahead, be like that. Like how how is it po uh someone's gonna have to explain to me how they move from over here past my army to here and then I still can't catch them when they went when the under like I I don't understand. Traverse beneath the, te the, the terrain that would normally be impassable. Immune to attrition. Nearby hostile armies may accept. Should army be intercepted, retreat will be impossible. If it loses the battle, it will be wiped out completely. Battle initiation is disabled, so you can't initiate the battle. But how is it able to move further? It doesn't say anything about increasing map, like, just movement. Maybe it's their hero has that? No, I don't want that. Go away. Maybe that's one of the skills their hero has? Or their hero's level 1, isn't he? No, their hero's level 5. Can, can I see his skills? Well, he doesn't, ha he doesn't have any campaign skills, so therefore he doesn't have any way of moving further. 
Like, there's campaign movement range. He doesn't have that. So that's not a thing that he can do, and I am definitely getting that. Someone pointed out, and that's a really good idea. I, uh, I didn't do that, so shame on me. But yes, it's a really good idea to grab that. I should have grabbed that early on. It would have made life a little bit easier. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea how or why they're able to do half the things they're able to do. But, whatever. Not going to complain about it too, too much. Alright, they're still on the downturn. I can't really afford to not have money coming in, though. Alright, well, we're going to get into Black Crag and try to... Well, it's going to be... Alright, we're going to have to de-extort income, and now we're on the... Uh, oh my god. Well, it looks like there's no way to stop it. Oh, I hate this so much! It's the most frustrating thing ever! I'm sorry, guys and gals. I'm so sorry. Heavy clubs. Alright. Oh, I'm so incredibly frustrated right now. This is the dumbest thing that's ever happened in any Total War game ever to me. Just having annoying things that I can't get to just completely destroy me. It's so ridiculous. Like, why was my ally ever being a problem? To, like, I don't understand that. To me, that makes absolutely no sense. Uh, raise an army? Yeah, I don't know how we're supposed to do that. Uh, our potential allies have tasked us. What potential allies? If we can bring down an enemy's champion. Yeah, whatever. Yep, just keep screwing me over. Like, we're not even being attacked, and we're just getting completely destroyed. I can't catch you for the love of God, and why is my WA not doing its job? Oh my lord in heaven. Why is this the most frustrating thing in the history of the universe? Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so irritated, guys and gals. I can't even begin to describe the level of irritation I'm feeling. I'm sure you guys are under... How did you get wrecked so badly? Against that? Are you serious? Oh my goodness. This is just the devil. The de Oh, hi, are you an enemy? Yes, you are. Can I... I wonder if that's a battle I can win. Uh, it does not look like a battle I can win. Stop the, start the wall. Come on, please attack me right now. Okay, well, since we're just getting absolutely destroyed... Oh, boy. And they're going to be able to just cry. Oh my gosh. I'm so completely annoyed right now. I don't even know where to begin to try and recover from what's going on. Alright. Well, let's look at happier times over here. They're at zero obedience problems. Well, that's fantastic. However, these guys are up in the 79s. And if we stop extorting income... Every single place in my entire kingdom hates me right now. This is so bad. It's so incredibly not good. Ugh. I just... I... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys and gals. This is just the devil incarnate. Like, this is... Uh, Alright, I'm done. I'm done. It's fine. Anyway, moving right along, we are uh, traversing terrain, we are doing some damage, we're making things happen. Is this a province? It's a settlement. What kind of army do we have with you? Not a very big one. Which is the unfortunate reality. Oh, we have... Oh, okay, wonderful. Now what are What are we over here? You are the provincial capital, and what kind of garrison do we have? Because you clearly dis- oh man, not even close to something that's going to be useful. Oh boy, alright. Okay, I thought you could traverse stuff under- Oh, we can, okay, over here. 
Oh, goody! And there's that. All right, well, that sounds about right. My first attempt to go into the underway, under rail, underway, under whatever it was, netted me a complete loss in getting my uh, people slaughtered. That's this is going very poorly for me, guys. I expanded quickly, things were looking solid, and then our own allies sat inside of our area and raided us the entire time and could not get them to move. I set multiple targets for them to go and attack. They sat there, continued to raid, lowered my happiness down to, what is it even at now? Super low, it's a little bit better now that they're not both inside my lands raiding. Um, we had one a rebel army that crushed something up here, then marched across the mountains to take on my main area that I control. It's just super ridiculously bad right now. This has crippled us. Literally every place on the map right now that we own is in negative happiness. They do not love us in any way, shape, or form. So when you think about what what horrible, awful, terrible, bad things could possibly happen, this is it. This is like the end-all, be-all of terribleness. And again, none of it's fighting. I, I suppose the rating from the uh, rebels is fighting, but Everything else, it's not. Ugh. I'm frustrated. Alright, what's going on here? You're attacking one of my provinces? With... Superior... Troops? Sort of? I might be able to outdo this. Alright, well, let's get into an actual fight and see if we can't do something. I'm a little bit sad because I feel like we're going to lose, they're going to either destroy something, we should be able to win this. They have the power spike because they have one better army than we do. Plus they have a hero, but we have just as many melee troops, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have five, six. We have more archers than they do, they only have two, plus a, a, a mounted one. And we have four, and then we have two mounted wolf riders versus their one. Eh, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to outplay them. Which I'm not even sure we can do. I don't know, guys and gals. I do get frustrated in games like this when something just silly happens, but this is like a whole new level of terrible that's going on. So uh, my frustration will ease once I get stuff under control again. We're going to have to actually sit around and kind of control. Like, we're fighting multiple fronts. The stupid, uh, like the allies turning again, the allies raiding our thing, that is my biggest issue. That's the one that I'm having the biggest problem with. So, you know, it's uh, so incredibly irritating. Alright, so that's that. Alright, we're going to put you guys all as group three. Actually, group one. Alright, you guys are going to become group 2. They're attacking us. Is there any small high ground advantage we can gain? I guess like right here, that's about it. Uh, one... And then we gotta switch you guys actually to three. Alright. I think with that, we might be okay. Well, we'll find out. Let them move. Are they going to move as one, or are they going to move as, like, a, a series of groups? I'm going to try to get into a flanking position with our boys. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm not entirely certain, but it could technically work. Alright, it looks like they're going to come charging at us here. Potentially. Alright, we're going to go over here and attack you. If we can get you to actually attack, they're going to continue to retreat. And I'm okay with this. This whole scenario is fine. We're gonna retreat away now. 
Alright. We're gonna get over here into position. We're gonna continue to set up on this side. We're going to probably pause right here for a second. I'm gonna take a quick look. Alright, so that guy's still chilling there. Let's take a look over here. There's some hidden ranged troops coming up. That's cool. I'm fine with that. These guys are preparing to charge forward. These guys will recover. They're not going to completely leave. We're going to hit play. I'm going to charge into the back of these guys. And we're probably going to charge into the back of these guys too. Or, what we can do is charge into the back of those and charge into these. We can pause again to make sure our troops are ready to go. We're battling over on this side. We're going to attack through. Gonna back up here. Gonna charge on in. Charge on in here. Charge on in here. And charge on in here. Back up with you. Back up with you. Back up with you. You guys have already made your attack. And we're going to let it play. Alright, the attacks are going okay-ish, it seems. Alright, get you to attack there, get you to attack here, get you to turn and attack this, get you to turn over here and attack this group. Meanwhile, we make a mockery of their archers. And just slaughter them straight up. Now we're going to come over on this side and attack from this angle. We're doing okay. It looks like we're winning the vast majority of the fighting. These guys have already broken. We're going to we're going to move over here. We're going to send you to attack him. We're going to send you to do the same. You guys are going to focus on this guy over here. They won that fight, which is excellent. Alright, and we're going to charge in from this side. We're going to go over here and see if we can't chase down these wolf riders. We're going to go over here, take out these error boys. And probably those. And it looks like their lord has fled, or started to flee, and we did outmaneuver them quite easily. So at least something good has happened for once. Alright, so victory is there. I mean, we just completely outplayed them, like, horribly. Now granted, they didn't do very smart things. They ran into our line of archers. We managed to pull them back and send our melee guys in, then turn and continue to fire. We flanked their archers, and then we crushed any chance they had of actually being able to fight us, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe for real. So, yeah, that worked out phenomenally well for us, I gotta say. I am definitely a fan. I am definitely a fan. The enemy lord is dead. That's a bonus as well. This time we're not going to just go for the exit here. We're actually going to run down as many of these as we can because, well, we want to make sure that we're victorious as, well, as victorious as possible. So we held the line. They're not going to be successful in their raid or whatever it is that they were doing, which is fantastic. All right, we're going to go with 2x here. And we're about done with what we're going to do. I really want to run down this group, though. All right, this group is getting mauled, and then its uh, compatriot group over here is going to get mauled a little bit as well. We're going to be able to eat up the folks, and our garrison was actually strong enough to hold, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, we're going to 4x it and just let them run all over those guys. Uh, I guess you can run down the like one or two remaining individuals over here if you really want to. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. We didn't even lose very many people. Like, none of our archers even got hit, it looks like. A couple of our orc, uh, orc boys, or the boys, as it were, they uh, got beat down a little bit. Some orc biggins got beat down some, but I mean, overall, not bad. All right, we can end the battle here. Decisive victory. Completely outplayed them. Yeah, they done got crushed. Dead-Eye Drock Master Gunner. Alright, 68 from our, our biggins. 28, uh, we had 50, we had 41, 33. Everybody pulled their weight. 
That was definitely a good, uh, uh raguk, boot, boot licker. Anyway, uh, raguk, boot licker, or boot licker. Anyway, um, everybody pulled their weight, nobody was a slacker, and that's really good for a garrisoned army to actually hold off against, well, the balance of power was in their favor, but, uh, I don't really think it was. If you looked at the composition of troops, like maybe if each troop has a value, their troops were slightly more valuable than ours. But we just had the better amalgamation of troops, like the better um, consistency or diversity in our troops. We had the strong frontliners. We had some of the weaker guys that can still swarm, which gave us the advantage in numbers, or at least broke even in numbers. Six to six, plus their hero. Their hero never really got to do much. Uh, their archers were completely outclassed by ours. We were able to outmaneuver their um, cavalry as well. This one was a problem. It was able to keep away from us and keep firing. But overall, we really, really crushed them. Alright, so we lost 137. We killed a whole bunch. Um, yeah, I think we're going to eat these guys. Alright, well hopefully that helps us a little bit. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, but that should have done something for us. Alright. One of those guys... We're, we're having people trying to assassinate us. We have rebels building up. All sorts of just hate. So much hate coming our way, folks. I'm going to break off the episode here. I'm hoping I'm in a better frame of mind in the next one. The, the victory with the... The little group of guys that we had uh, did help a lot with that. So, that is definitely uh, good. Where is... Oh yeah, we're about to attack these guys. The rating, I guess I can live with it. We're going to get you to continue on up here, and you're going to actually help with the rebels. That's going to be the play. We'll deal with you eventually. I'm probably just going to murder all your guys. I don't know that you're going to be strong enough to deal with any of our, our troops. We did make some money there, so that's good. But, like I said, I think I'm going to probably break off the episode right here, and what we're going to do on top of all of that is I'm going to go and go into normal stance. And in the next episode, we're going to go and we're going to take on uh, Spite, Spite Peak, and we're going to hopefully crush it. I don't see a way that they survive that. I also don't know where the army that was inside of it went. Uh, maybe our Wa actually killed it this time. Anyway, folks, that's it. I'll see you next time with another episode of Total War Warhammer. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the free show, and I will see you later.